Hi everyone, our video blog this week is right here in Sandy Hill. It's on the south side of Sandy Hill, an Ottawa community housing community called Strathcona Heights. It's one of the largest in population for Ottawa community housing. There's some youth needs and we're working closely with community philanthropists and community coordinators to develop after school and summer programs here in Strathcona Heights under the banner of Strathcona Tigers. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to uh, our first event with Strathcona Tigers. The look behind us right here. The whole community is out. My name is Adam Bilal Halawa. I'm the coordinator for the new program called Strathcona Tigers. It's an after school program, a free after school program designed for all youth in this neighborhood that live in the Sandy Hills, Strathcona Heights area. And it's going to be an amazing program. Adam, thank you so much for the great work you're doing. Thank uh, you, so much. you and I connected over Ottawa Community Housing, we connected over sports over the last few years. And look, now there's an opportunity here at Strathcona Heights. What does it mean for you to be involved in your community, to make a difference using sports as a leverage? It's all about giving back. We use basketball, soccer, ball hockey, any type of sports to really encourage youth, positive youth development. So Strathcona Tigers is a new program backed up by the city, backed up by OCH, backed up by good partners, good strong partners that are able to make a difference. For me, it's about coordinating all this together and making it happen, getting the kids out from this neighborhood, getting them to the Rito Sports Club and getting them in pro proactive programming that's going to help them become a good youth, a good students, you know, find a go to college, go to university, and finally get to find a good job and, and be able to give back themselves, like what we're doing right now, back into this community and back to the Strathcona Tigers community. Absolutely. Well, I, I said before, this is the largest auto community housing community. You know the, the area well, you, you've done a scan through, you're, you're connecting with the youth. What's the potential here and what's the opportunity ahead with the Strathcona Tigers? I'll be honest with you, I don't, uh, I'm not uh, underestimating it here or anything, but this is a gold mine, a youth gold mine in terms of programming, in terms of uh, outreach and, and, and starting something special for these kids, something that's not being done anywhere else in Ottawa and that's, it's a gold mine, it's a, it's a gold mine for programming and youth development. So much opportunities, eh? Great opportunities and it's up to us to make it happen and to get the program going and everything. Thanks a lot, Adam. Thank you, thank you for your support. So Gerald, first and foremost, thank you for the great work you do in our community. As you said, uh, you've been here for eight years and it certainly shows and you know everyone. And let's talk about the needs. Uh, we've, we've talked to Alan around the fundraising, we've talked to Adam around the coordination and what he sees the growth of the Strathcona Tigers. What's the need in a community? Like, we're a large community, we have diverse uh, age group, diverse population, uh, language, yeah, different languages as well. So what would you, if, if, in a 15 second clip, how would you describe uh, the needs of the community? So I'd say the, the needs, um, you know, really it's uh, a lot of the, the children and youth in the neighborhood have opportunities to participate in programs, but what I find is that there's not enough of a, a variety of programming that's available. Um, we're limited by space in the community, this is a challenge. So it hinders um, you know, the the, um, the amount of programming that, that we can use when we can only have access to certain spaces on certain days a week. Where I'm thinking see, of just behind us, it's an outdoor it, basketball it, it, court. Exactly. In the winter, we have challenges. we have no use of it. Exactly. You know, so thankfully, when we have sunshine, we're able to use this. But come the winter time, you know, we we don't have that space to be able to use. Down at Viscount Alexander, the San Diego Community Health Center, San Diego Community Center does sponsor an open gym night, but that's for ages 12 to 16 or so. So we see a need with those who, once they age out of there, where do they, where do they go to play, continue playing 17 basketball? to 25. 17 right? and, and upwards, exactly. Um, also with young women, what we see is uh, we sponsor a girls program. It's more about recreational games and activities and that social connection, but what we don't um, necessarily have is a girls um, sports only activities. And I say girls only because what we find is that we can do all these sports activities but they're predominantly you know, the, the young boys that come out and so I find when uh, the young ladies come to those kinds of programs they feel a little bit um, shy in participating the boys are a little bit rougher the boys are a little bit more competitive so I think an area where we could use some more uh, is a uh, specific girls sports program a safe a safe area for girls, girls to learn and play yeah, exactly exactly and especially when we're thinking of um, you know this is a this is a very diverse community and there's lots of uh, young women in the, in the neighborhood who wear the hijab as well too so this would hopefully afford them an opportunity where they can come in and take the hijabs off if necessary and be amongst the girls and not have to worry that you know we can't necessarily participate because of those barriers that might be there
Thanks for your great work. Appreciate you being here. No problem. Uh, this full coordination, we, we feel the community coming together. Yes, and that's absolutely. Great. Yeah. Thanks.